Anyway, Paul Talbot was in the news. Can you guess what for? Oh, the Tartar <laughs> I shouldn't even ask you. The what? Someone else died at Tartar Steel at Steelworks. Is it that? I was going to say, no, 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 gonna say but if I don't know what fun, it wouldn't be the greatest news story to come. Yeah, really going to work, I was gonna really gonna work like, that into a comedy yeah, show, aren't I? I don't know, yeah, but it's all over the news. Everyone's so dead. <laughs> yeah. Everyone you know and love say. is dead. Yeah, that's perfect banter, that is. like Seagull-related banter? No, 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 we're not on the goals yet, mate. Right. I wish we were. I wish we were. Right, well, Port Talbot was in the news because... Oh, this, yeah. Yeah, this. Um... This is a report from The Telegraph. A lot of people ask us about what Port Talbot's like, and, and, you know, you have to have a special love in your heart for Port Talbot. I know there's a lot of shit places in the world to live, right? And people all say the same stuff, where it's like, you're going to be from there, you know? You don't really understand. You hate it, but you love it. You know what I mean? People say that, like, about if you're from Alabama or something, right? But uh, the the reality here is with Port Talbot, like, okay, how, what what can I tell you? It's better than Kreuzeru. That should be its... <laughs> When, when you drive in to Port Talbot, better than Croiseru. That, that's what it should say on the sign, and that's that. Only smells on one half of the county. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It should say. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we nearly got rid of the smell on our... <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's just a crazy place. There's people there still doing... You know, I, I, like, I understood it when we had an economic collapse at the end of the 90s where you used to see people like, oh, yeah, right, but how, how, how's it going? Off to work. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a new fucking apprenticeship I have, learning to be a chippy, 20 pounds a week. <laughs> like, fucking hell. And it was all these, like, job centre schemes to get people into work where what they pay you, for, you can't you know, possibly well, like... live on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't possibly live on it, but you're technically not un unemployed. But you would have been better off if you were. But you learn a trade. It was a scam, slave labor, I think it's called in the in the rest of the world. Um, but anyway, that's what they were doing. So that there was, I, I knew dozens of my mates were in jobs like that, and I was just like, lads, I'm not. Like, I'm just gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm just, not. I'm not doing it. I can't. No, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, mate, I'm not getting out of bed for 20 quid a week, fuck that, I'll, I'll, I'll do something illegal, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> I got, I got, I got too much pride to go and get skanked for 20 quid a week when I can be the skanker and make 200 quid a week, you know what I mean, just fuck that, um, so anyway, uh, you know, it's, I'm trying to think of its contribution overall. It hasn't really made one, if we're honest. It's yet to make its contribution to, to mankind. It did have that swimming pool that burnt down, that got rebuilt. That was good. It does have a cinema, I suppose. Pretty Total sure. Recall just came out this week. <laughs> Um, the running man's on the chocolate factory, he's just came in. Like, they're waiting for Gene Wilder to come and sign autographs. They're up for terrible news. <laughs> like, it, 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 you'll never fucking guess what that Gene Wilder never came. Never Stuck came. Too good. <laughs> Stuck a bastard. Too good for Port Albert. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, he's been been dead 20 years. <laughs> not, not 20, but you know what I mean. Anyway, the swimming pool that burnt down. Yeah, you can look it up. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's actually real. <laughs> the swimming pool burnt down. Electrical fire, they said. Scam, I said. <laughs> massive, massive fraud, I said. But that was so the me. water's on fire, you <laughs> see. <laughs> ne never seen out like it, said the owner, counting a big suspicious pile of insurance cash. He was asked about the recent shipment of 200 <laughs> litres of petrol to the spot pool when, when asked It was to me, car. I traded in all my fucking SO points and they sent it to the fucking pool. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, to Port Albert, you got to love it, right? And just to, just to prove how much people don't love it, even if you're from there, skimming through the news, right, this month, to, to get a show together in the Telegraph, former mayor <laughs> calls for Welsh Town to be flattened by a bomb. <laughs> he's I don't know. He's, he's obviously bomb. been jumped yeah. on the way home. He's, he's, he's had, had so much, and he like <laughs> it just oh. former mayor calls for Welsh Town to be flattened by a bomb because it is turning into a ghetto. 
And I was like, oh, but which Welsh town could this be? <laughs> which Welsh town could this be? Poor Dolby. <laughs> Had to be. A former mayor has called from his hometown to be flattened by a, quote, thermonuclear <laughs> device. <laughs> he wants to kill all of Wales with the fallout. Yeah, he, he, he mate, not even just a bomb big enough to just create a Port Talbot and like let everyone else live. Like, no, everyone must suffer. Everyone, everyone in the surrounding must area must be removed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Councillor Dennis Keogh said parts of Port Talbot, South Wales, had become a ghetto after a boom in rental properties being used by drug addicts. I mean, you know, got, you, you got to let you got to yeah, have most speed people in Port Talbot are drug addicts. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> point, point one. <laughs> don't you know who your constituents were, sir? Don't you know who was actually voting for you? Those drug, drug addicts, addicts were voting for you, yeah. Yeah, exactly, you mad cunt. Right? So, you fucking, f that's problem number one. Second of all, what? They, you want your drug addicts on the streets? <laughs> That's have you have you been to Swansea? Have you been to Swansea? Have you seen Swansea Love Story? <laughs> Do you know anything about homelessness and addiction and what the problems that create? At least they're in a house. Like a functional drug addict's all right with me, son. Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. said it before. Yeah, you pay your rent, you do a job, you you, you hit you hit a twenty bag on the fucking weekends. It maybe hit, maybe just called living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, you know, you might have to top yourself off through the week. Sometimes you might be a little bit sleepy at work. It happens, you know, we've all been there. Build a hammock, shut the fuck up and let them make it up on overtime. Problem solved. So you have to think about it. No one needs a thermonuclear device to solve that problem, Sam. <laughs> Nobody needs a thermonuclear device. You know, just, just let people do their thing. You know, or even better yet, right? Instead of the bomb... Why don't you use some of that money that you've got to create better programs for wellness to get people off the drugs? <laughs> nah. <laughs> bomb. 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 It all. Yeah, bomb it all. The nuke's cheaper. I like what he says. He's still got family living there. So they're murdered as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, listen. Take it with counselor. me. Labour councillor, the party of the working class, ladies and gentlemen, fucking scummy drag addicts living in my neighbourhood. Bomb them all. Do you know what a Tory you fucking sound like there, by the way, Mr. Keogh? Do, do you have any idea how much of a fucking Thatcher-esque thing that is to say? But whatever. He was mayor of Neath Port Talbot until May this year, said he's turning into a ghetto. Oh, you were in charge, like. I mean, I love how he waits until he's out and he's gone. In the months that I've not been mayor, it's really gone downhill. As if there was like some cataclysmic shift in six that. months, you know? They all do it, though. Politicians all do it, like. But, um, yeah, Labour Council Mr Keogh was mayor of Neath Port Talbot until May this year said it's turning into a ghetto. The only way to sort it out is to use a small, oh, he does say small, as, as if there's anything, as if, there's, as if there is such a thing as a small thermonuclear device. <laughs> a small thermonuclear device to flatten it and start again. I'm Aberavon born and I still have family living there. It was a beautiful place to live. But I wouldn't want to live there now. So let's kill my whole family. <laughs> He's all right. Why does he get to live oh, as well? I know. If you're what, is he going to go back? Get like, taken out. Uh, give me a good selection of breeding stock and I'll just repopulate pot. Oh, what is Dr. <laughs> fucking Strange Love, innit? He's gone full Dr. Strange Love on pot all, but like, what the? <laughs> I can't deal with it. Um, He's having a culinary <laughs> breed, but this guy's yeah, acting exactly. as if it's like a hunting population. All right, hang on. Oh, fucking hell, all the buttons. Rebreed. <laughs> He's having a rebreed. <laughs> all the trouble is in one place. It all centers around rented accommodation. People don't give a damn. Mr. Keogh made his comments during a planning meeting <laughs> while discussing proposals <laughs> to transform a home in Aberavon and Port Talbot into flats. Sir, it's, it's like that fucking shit joke, isn't it? Sir, this is a Wendy's. You are in a fucking planning meeting. So, um, what what do you think? Well, my constituents do need the housing, so um, I, you know, I think we should go ahead and turn it into flats. And you know, I 
<laughs> I know that the house has some um, heritage value, and and uh, it's been in it's been part of Aber Aben for a long time. But we really need the housing. We've really got to get people off the streets and into affordable homes. What say you, Mister Keo? Bomb it all! Bomb it all! It's shit round here, isn't it? Bomb it all! You're the fucking ex mayor. Like, what the fuck is going on? What is what is wrong with you? Like. <laughs> it's beyond oh. the That's a planning meeting. <laughs> like there's just no need for it. Go on a street corner, stand on a little box, and shout it at people. Like sound, yeah. And that made, that's more fitting. Anyway, he, he was <laughs> Plaid Cymru councillor Nigel Hunt joined <laughs> Mr. Keo in calling for the plans to be rejected. I mean, that wasn't what he was just doing. <laughs> no, he said, you know, bomb it all. Yeah, he did scream, bomb it all, bomb it all. Got out his fucking flaccid cock and started <laughs> waggling it around, probably. Like, he's just had a full breakdown. Yeah, uh, Mr. Keo in calling for the plans to be rejected, saying the area was prime ground for county lines drugs gangs. He said, their real concerns about the pr proliferation of new unsavoury people that are residing in Aberavon. Unsavoury people. <laughs> unsavoury people. <sighs> Renters. Renting houses. Unsavoury as fuck like. <laughs> unsavoury people that are residing in Aberavon and the surge in violence and disorder. Nothing fixes violence and disorder like a thermonuclear bomb, Sam. Have you seen Mad Max? <laughs> Did you see... Did you see how everyone just started getting along after the bomb dropped? And they were like, oh, why don't we just share our water? <laughs> you know, <laughs> no one will put that makeshift spear down, sir, and come drink it from my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Wales. Young children can already identify a junkie. <laughs> 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 Young children can already identify a junkie with our drugs being an everyday sight for residents. <laughs> Alarm bells are ringing on county lines. It's a ticking time bomb. Always about fucking bombs with these Welsh, Welsh politicians. Like... It's a ticking time bomb for Aberavon, which, with the bus station 200 metres away <laughs> and HMOs, it's fertile Also, land but for it them. depends where you are. Bus meter isn't always 200 metres away. What kind of mental statement is that? The bus stop is 200 metres away. Where? Where are you? Right now, maybe. Does it yeah. just mean this house? No, he like, means he he be... yeah. How many drug dealers do you think they're fitting in it? But fucking hell, if one house is going to topple the town. No, but that's it, right? I'd argue it's the... already fucked. The idea as well, by the way, that, like, drug dealers are like, here's what we need to, to, to get our supply line sorted. Public transport. Yeah, <laughs> the... Fucking hell. You know what I mean? Just, like, got, got all my fucking gear. I just climb on this filmed <laughs> public transport now that goes super slow and never on time. Perfect for a drug dealer's <laughs> needs. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe they had a whip round and got a car at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah, mate, it, you know, I can't think of a single drug, deal. drug dealers. Maybe one of them has a driving license. <laughs> I mean, my entire them. life, in my yeah, in my entire life, I can't think of ever a single drug deal that I've witnessed or engaged in <laughs> that relied on a bus. <laughs> you just know, fucking hell, the number forty's late again. I'm never <laughs> gonna get my scag. Like you know what I mean? It just it just doesn't work like that. And then it it, it has a happy ending, I suppose. <laughs> But the plans for the building were approved by the council. So all the screaming about <laughs> nuclear bombs <laughs> turns out... Blow them up, take it out. No. Yeah. All, all, all the screaming about nuclear bombs didn't uh, didn't change any of it. Didn't make any difference. So fair, fair play. Fair play. All's fair in love. Well, you off once before, but you still got the nerve to come back.